Hi everyone, and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be trying gouache for the first time, and I've wanted to try this for such a long time. I think I've mentioned it a lot over the past couple of years, and I never got round to it. I've always loved painting. I used to spend so much time working on acrylic paintings. Back in 2012, when I started this channel, I was working on them all the time, and I've genuinely missed it. I really appreciate landscape paintings, and I say that's the type of art that I personally enjoy looking at the most, and it's something that I want to improve on myself. I think I'll find it so rewarding to learn more about this type of art, and this medium seems like a good way to practice. Uh, well, I I'm assuming that. <laughs> I've never tried gouache before until this project, but from the artwork I've seen online, I think gouache could be so fun. In this video, I'm going to be trying Himi Jelly Gouache, I've had this sitting on my desk for a few months, and it's been a nice incentive to get back into creating after my long break. And to start off, as you can see, I needed to peel the cover off of each of the containers. <laughs> it took a long time. And I was surprised by the size of the set, to be honest. It's a lot of paint to practice with, so, you know, I've got my work cut out for me. <laughs> I've heard that gouache is like a mix between watercolour and acrylic paint, so I kind of... I have an idea in my head of what to expect, but it mixes some of the great properties of each of them, and it dries quickly with a matte finish, apparently. <laughs> and it can be used with water, diluting it for translucency, or you can use a tiny bit of water just to help the paint flow while keeping the paint nice and opaque, and this would be great for adding blocks of colour and highlights. So let's get started! After measuring and sketching the border, I masked off the area with some washi tape. This way I'll get a nice clean border. Then I decided to use some Holbein acrylic gouache, diluted with water for a nice warm orange wash. And this is going to be the underpainting. I've never tried this before, even when I used to work on acrylic paintings, but I love the idea of using this acrylic gouache to create a nice warm orange mid-tone background that I can then add opaque paint on top and some of the orange will show through and add a nice warmth to it. The reason for using acrylic gouache instead of regular gouache is so that it won't reactivate and blend with the layers of paint that I add on top. Once acrylic gouache dries, it's set permanently. After that, I used a Caran d'Ache aquarelle coloured pencil to add a simple sketch of the scene I wanted to create, and these aquarelle pencils are great because they're water-soluble, so they'll fade when I start working on the painting, and as you can see from the sketch, I wanted to work on a cabin amongst some trees, and I was hoping to create a nice snowy scene with a really vibrant sky that contrasts the flat, opaque areas of snow. Now, it was time for me to try painting with gouache for the first time, and I probably should have tested these paints on some scrap paper first, but I was too eager to start this painting, and I quickly realised that I'd added a bit too much water to my first strokes of paint, they were a bit translucent, and the layers of blue were showing the orange underneath. But it was okay though, because I wanted to show some of that orange anyway, especially down towards the horizon line. I intended to add more orange and yellows and pinks, creating the vibrant colours of a winter sunset. It was really fun, just layering the opaque patches of paint. And a huge part of the reason why I want to spend more time painting again is because I want to embrace that looser way of working. Often when I'm working on drawings, there's a lot of planning involved, and I spend a lot of time on things like line work, and I plan each stage carefully. And after doing it for a long time, you develop a very specific workflow. And this style is the complete opposite of that, and it felt quite freeing.
Next, I wanted to add a nice warm colour to the trees in the background, varying the darkness to add some depth. And I also added layers of snow to each tree before starting work on the old cabin. For the snow on the cabin and the trees close to it, I used light blue, and my intention was to use contrast to create the illusion of distance. So as details got closer to the foreground, I increased the contrast between the shadows and the highlights. And you'll also notice that I used a dry brush technique to add windswept snow to the cabin. As I mentioned at the start, I've wanted to try painting with gouache for such a long time, and after working on this, I can say that it's definitely lived up to the hype. I really loved working on this painting. The paint was so smooth, 
and it was a joy to add the opaque layers building up this scene from the background to the foreground. I guess I approached this like an acrylic painting, and I think next time I try these paints I'll try to work on a watercolour style background, using a bit more water to create a wash. And I'm just so excited to learn more about this medium, and try some fun and challenging ideas. Uh, there's so much paint in this set too, so I can get plenty of practice. Further on down the line, if I'm continuing to enjoy using gouache, I'll definitely look into other brands to see what's out there, so please let me know your recommendations, I'm really interested. I hope you enjoyed watching me give this paint a try, this was such a fun painting to work on, and initially I wasn't sure if it was going to work out, because I'm just not used to working in a looser style like this, but I think it was really good for me to try, and I'm very happy with the end result. A nice snowy scene with a colourful sunset. So please let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching this video, be sure to subscribe and follow me on socials to keep updated with what I'm working on. I hope you're having a lovely day, and I'll see you all soon!